would like to start by welcoming all of kindergarten year one and year two to Terranora Public Schools annual presentation day for 2021. I stood here this time last year and I'm pretty sure that I said hopefully 2021 will be a little bit more normal. However, it has still been a little bit of a crazy year, 2021. So I want to start, first of all, by saying thank you to all of the children. I'm looking at you. You have done such an amazing job this year with some things that have been a little bit crazy. You've had to learn from home. You've had to change your lunch time. There's been lots of things that are really different. And that can be really hard to do, but you have done such an amazing job coping with all the different changes and the restrictions that we've had to put in. And I know that I am very, very proud of you. So congratulations to everybody for doing such a good job, changing with things at the last minute. I'd also like to thank our parents who are at home watching again. We would have loved to have had you here again this year, but it unfortunately hasn't happened. Uh, we would like to thank you for all of your support during home learning because you had to do the heavy lifting. So we really appreciate all of your support and hopefully we can have you sitting in the room with us next year. Um, I would also like to say that although today is a day for giving student awards, it isn't possible for every single person to have an award. But what I do know for a fact is that if teachers could give you all an award, they would. We know that even if you don't get to stand up here on stage today, you have worked so incredibly hard all year long. And if you aren't lucky enough to get up on stage today, it does not mean that you haven't done an incredible job. And I know that your teachers are so proud of each and every one of you. So please don't be disappointed if you don't get an award because we are super proud of you, even if you don't get to stand up on stage today. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge all of our early stage one, stage one teachers. Um, although there's been lots of change for students and for parents, there's also been an incredible amount of change on you and the changes happening daily. So it has been incredible the way that you have coped and the way that you have adjusted your day-to-day -day routines at the drop of a hat to make things run smoothly around the school. We very much appreciate you and all the work that you do. All right, I am now going to pass over to our lovely Nevaeh Phillips, who's sitting beside me here, and she's going to do our acknowledgement to country. And once she's finished, we're going to get you to stand up very quietly. We're going to play our national anthem. Thank you, Nevaeh. We would like to acknowledge the Ngunnawal and the Mijibal people who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would also like to pay my respect to elders both past and present of the Bunjala Nation and extend my respect to all other Aboriginal peoples present.
to ask our principal, Mr. Joshua Stevens, to please come and address the assembly. To our students, teachers, staff, parents, and community. Hello, Jingi Walla, and welcome to our 2021 Presentation Day at Terranora Public School. Today, we proudly acknowledge and meet on Minjimbul and Nundawal lands and come together to celebrate and acknowledge Terranora Public School students who have excelled and achieved to give their best in 2021. Firstly, thank you for all your warm welcomes and support that you have shown me since I've arrived at Terranora Public School and for allowing me here today to stand here as principal to address this presentation. I'm extremely proud to be a part of your school community in what I consider exciting times ahead and future at Terranora Public School. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank those who have made a significant contribution to Terranora Public School. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the parents and community members who have supported our school throughout this interrupted year. Firstly, to Maria and all the parent volunteers who provide our students with yummy lunches and food. Thank you for giving up your time at the canteen. Thank you to Erin for running the uniform shop and organising parents to allow their children to look their best. We appreciate your effort, Erin. And of course, thank you to those incredible hardworking members of the PNC who have worked tirelessly to raise funds for your children and support our school in the best way possible. We are so very grateful that at Terranora we have such a strong PNC. Thank you, Dana, and to the team of the PNC. To our wonderful SLSOs, who support our teachers and students in class and during recess and lunch breaks. Thank you for the job that you do. Your energy, your skills, your enthusiasm, and your passion is very much welcome at Terranora Public School. Thank you to Rob and Roy, our GAs, who use their amazing skills and pride to ensure our school looks well presented at all times. Both of them always go beyond and above their job description. They're like the Swiss Army Knives or the MacGyvers of our school. Thank you, lads. A huge thanks and recognition must be given to our incredible office staff who play a vital role in the efficient running of our school. With a myriad of requests and actions the office staff execute daily from parents, students and staff, it is truly incredible how they can multitask to get all the jobs done. As a whole school, we rely on them to do a lot of heavy lifting. Thank you to the office staff. I would like to now give a special thank you and acknowledgement to the large number of dedicated and passionate and committed teachers across our school who work tirelessly every day to enrich the lives of young people and engage them in their learning. Teachers play such a pivotal role in nurturing, empowering, inspiring our students to be their best. And at Terranora, we have the best. Thank you to all the teachers. We couldn't have got through this year without you. Thank you to our leadership team and our exec team who strive every day to implement the school vision and support staff and parents to ensure that the school runs smoothly. I thank them for their honesty, professionalism and trust, especially over the past six months. As we look forward to 2022, the school continues to develop and refine the curriculum with a commitment to creating engaging, student-centered learning experiences, curriculum frameworks that are being updated across the school that target literacy, numeracy, Aboriginal education and technology strategies, are being embedded within the curriculum. As with every school, we're constantly reflecting and looking to grow in all these areas. I feel we're moving in the right direction. I personally like the saying, sometimes you need to go slow to go fast. And the precise meaning of this is to ensure we move forward at Terranora Public School with a clear strategy, a resilient school plan that is embedded around research and collaboration. It's really exciting times at Terranora Public School. To all the parents and caregivers at home watching this, I thank you for the wonderful support and the effort that you gave to our school and for entrusting Terranora Public School with the gift of educating your children, especially during the time of COVID lockdowns. 
You did a lot of heavy lifting during COVID and I thank you for all the support, love that you gave to us and to your children. I say well done and I look forward to working with you next year more closely. In closing, I'd like to wish all the students, staff and parents a Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy watching our school presentation for 2021 and I hope that you acknowledge and give thanks to everyone at Terranora Public School. Thank you and thank you for allowing me to speak here today. Goodbye. Before we start with our class awards, we'd just like to say a quick thank you to all of our sponsors. We have some local businesses that really are books, medals and trophies that we wouldn't be able to do without their support. So I'd like to say a great big thank you to Terranora Child Care Centre, to the New South Wales Teachers Federation, to the Rotary Club of Lenora Tweed and the Terranora PMC Association, uh, C and M Lawyers, and I would also like to thank the canteen, our tuck shop, and our uniform shop because they work really hard all year round to make sure that you look fantastic and to make sure that you've got lots of really yummy and delicious food. I know that Maria is the most amazing tuck shop convener that we have had and I'm very excited to see what sort of delicious things she cooks up for us next year. So you're very appreciated, Maria. All right, kindergarten teachers, can I please have you join us on stage for kindergarten awards? KB, our first award goes to Bodie Williams. Bodie, you have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement in literacy and numeracy. Come on up, Bodie. Our next award is for Bonnie Rose Lee. Congratulations, Bonnie Rose. Your award is for demonstrating excellence and enthusiasm in literacy and numeracy. Our next award in KB goes to Zane Keogh. Zane, you demonstrate consistent, high quality work and dedication to learning. Congratulations, Zane. Come on up, sweetheart. Penelope Shown. Congratulations, Penelope. You demonstrate exceptional effort and participation in all learning areas. Caleb Sylvester. Congratulations, Caleb. You demonstrate diligence and detail to creative projects and problem solving activities. And our final award for KB goes to Lorelei Walker. Congratulations, Lorelei, you are receiving the Class Sports Award. Um, unfortunately, Lorelei isn't here today, so we will keep her award nice and safe for her when she's back at school. Now it's time to give KB a great big clap. Congratulations, KB. You can go and sit down with your class. Well done, KB. KH, your turn. Are you ready? Well, don't forget to go outside with Clara. You're going to go and have a photo, KB. If you've got an award, we'll just pop you outside. KH, our first award goes to Harry Richardson. Congratulations, Harry, for being a clever thinker and a conscientious student. Well done. Our next award, KH, goes to Taj Morgan. Congratulations, Taj, on an outstanding academic achievement.
Taj has a great quest to learn new things and improve on existing skills. And Taj is away today as well, so we'll make sure we keep his award nice and safe for him. Our next award in KH is for Ollie Dickinson. Oh, he's here. Congratulations, Ollie, on outstanding enthusiasm and eagerness for all school activities and routines. Ollie has been an exemplary helper to his classmates and especially his teachers. Thank you, Ollie. Lots of good things to say about Ollie on that piece of paper. Our next award is for Maeve Hogan. Congratulations, Maeve, for being a conscientious student and learner. You are KH's quiet achiever. Indigo Lock. Congratulations, Indy, for always trying her best in absolutely every aspect of school. And our last award for KH is the Class Sport Award. And this award goes to Jackson Hill. So he's not here today either. That's all right, we'll keep it safe again. So congratulations, Jackson, on getting the Class Sport Award. Let's give KH a great big clap. <laughs> all right, KH, you can go down the middle. And we're going to take you out for some photos. Can I please have our Year 1 teachers on stage? Okay, 1A, I'm very excited to have your awards. Our first award in 1A goes to Poppy Wilcock. Poppy, your award is for an excellent work ethic and positive attitude in literacy and numeracy. Poppy consistently produces quality work. Congratulations, Poppy. Our next award is for Jack Gray. Jack, your award is for an excellent work ethic in literacy and numeracy. Jack consistently produces work to a high standard. Congratulations, Jack. Our next award in 1A goes to Alexandra Vegas. Alexandra displays an enthusiastic attitude towards her learning and takes pride in producing quality work. Congratulations, Alexandra. Our next award is for Ned Smith. Ned is a kind and compassionate student who displays a positive and motivated attitude to his learning. Congratulations, Ned. Willow Hurley. Willow, your award is for sustained effort and consistency, producing quality work in literacy and numeracy. Willow displays a positive attitude towards her learning. She is kind, respectful and responsible. Congratulations, Willow. And our final award for 1A is our Class Sports Award. The Class Sport Award is for doing your best job and giving everything your best go. And that award goes to Caden Bennett. Congratulations, Caden. Let's give 1A a great big clap. Congratulations, 1A. You can move outside to have your photos. We've now got 1E. Oh, they're sitting up nice and straight. That makes me smile. 1E, my first award is for Zoe Finch. 
So we, your award is for academic excellence in all areas. Unfortunately, Zoe's not here with us today either, but we will make sure she gets her award when she's back at school. Our next award is for Sydney Jowett. Congratulations, Sydney. Your award is for excellence in all areas. Good job. Our next award is for Elijah Mulvey. Congratulations, Elijah. Your award is for excellent effort and achievement in numeracy. Piper Tully. Congratulations, Piper. Your awards for excellent effort and achievement in literacy and numeracy. Benjamin Parker. Benjamin, your award is for excellent effort in achievement in literacy and numeracy. Award for 1E is our Class Sport Award, which is awarded to Ashton Herbert. Congratulations, Ashton. And I'll ask our you 2 teachers to join us on stage, please. Congratulations, 1E. Let's give them a great big clap. you can move off and have your photos taken. One, two, M, your turn. Our first award for one, two, M goes to Bo Thompson. Congratulations, Bo. You are a consistent and capable student who has made impressive progress. Royce McCarthy. Congratulations, Royce. Your award is for your determined attitude towards learning and striving for success. Evie McCormack. Miss Evie, your award is for being a hard-working student who applies herself consistently and produces quality work. Zara Offner. Congratulations, Zara. Your award is for being a positive and trustworthy student who always strives to improve. Blake Thomas. Congratulations, Blake. Your award is for developing a more settled approach to your learning. You have made pleasing progress developing and maintaining friendships. And our last award for 12M is the Class Sports Award, which goes to Jack McCormack. Congratulations, Jack. Sorry, I said McCormack and it's just Cormac. Just Cormac. Sorry, Jack.
Let's give one to him. A great big clap. Well done, one to him. All right, one to him. You can move on to have your photos taken. Thank you. We're going to move on to 2S, and I just want to say how beautifully you're sitting. I am very, very impressed. Absolutely beautiful audience manners. Our first award for 2S goes to Nate Morgan. Congratulations, Nate. You have excelled in all areas of learning this year. You are to be congratulated on your academic achievements in literacy and numeracy. Fantastic effort, Nate. Jade Wilkinson. Jade, through your commitment to learning, you have demonstrated your ability to achieve academic excellence. Jade produces a high standard of work in all areas. Unfortunately, Jade isn't here today, so we will make sure she receives the award when she returns. Isaac Baker. Congratulations, Isaac. You have demonstrated excellence in numeracy. You consistently strive to challenge your mathematical thinking. Congratulations on a wonderful year, Isaac. India Farmer. Congratulations, Indy. You are a bright and articulate student who demonstrates an excellent attitude towards learning and all other aspects of school life. You should be very proud of your efforts this year, Indy. Eloise McAlpin. Miss Eloise, you have a positive attitude towards learning, which is reflected in your academic achievements. We are extremely proud of your growth this year. Well done, Eloise. And our last award for 2S is the Class Sport Award, and congratulations to Benji Eek. Let's give 2S a great big clap. Congratulations to them. One class left. Are you ready, Mrs. Decker? Our first award for 2T is for Freya Perriott. Congratulations, Freya, for a wonderful work ethic in literacy and numeracy. You consistently are producing good quality work. Congratulations, Freya, for always having a positive attitude towards your learning. Lewis Whiteley. Lewis, your award is for excellence in literacy and numeracy, consistently producing work to a high standard. Congratulations, Lewis, for having a great attitude towards your learning. Hannah Sidero. Congratulations, Hannah, on displaying a determined attitude towards learning and a constant willingness to improve. Hannah has applied herself in all learning this year. Congratulations, Hannah. Lexi Jordan. Lexi is a quiet achiever who displays a positive and motivated attitude to her learning. Lexi should be proud of her outstanding achievements in all key learning areas. Congratulations, Lexi. Lexi is also away today, but we will pass on her award. Phoenix Beck. Congratulations, Phoenix, for consistently producing good quality work in numeracy. 
Phoenix has a great attitude towards learning and is a kind, respectful and independent learner. Congratulations, Phoenix. And our last award for two t is our class sports award. Congratulations to Henry Stevens. Let's give two t a great big clap. Thank you, Stage 1 teachers. Okay, we are moving on to a very exciting part of our program for today. And I'm going to ask the kindergarten teachers to please join me on stage. There are two years in primary school that are really, really special. One of them is kindergarten, and the other one is year six. And kindergarten for today, it is your special moment. Your first year of primary school is such a huge achievement. Your little brains grow and you learn so many new amazing things. And you turn into not little preschool babies, but these beautiful grown up little children who are incredible and who can do amazing things. And this is our moment to congratulate you on finishing your very first year of primary school. So we're going to present kindergarten with their graduation certificates. Okay, KB, we are going to give your awards first. And Mrs. Parker is going to read your names so that Mrs. Barker and I can shake your hands. Okay, KB, Barlow Beck. Vinny Brown, Wade Cook, Geordie Haynes, Audrey Hennings, Thomas Johnston, Isabella Jones, Bonnie Rose Lee, River Lee, Axel Lily, Hudson Pearson, Penelope Sean, Caleb Sylvester, Lorelai Walker, who's away, so we'll keep that. Oliver Webb. Edie Wheeler. Bodie Congratulations, KB. What an amazing first year you've had. Let's give them all a great big clap. We might get KB to sit down and do a whole class photo after the assembly's finished, I think. So KB, can you go and pop yourselves back down? Well done. Good job, Mr. Z. Um, and Ms. Kidd, can we have you join us for Kate's Awards, please? KH, your turn to graduate. Mrs. Barker is going to read your name so that Mrs. So Miss Harker and Miss Kid. It always gets me when I do the Harker Barker show. Can shake your hands. Okay. Thank 
Okay, KH, when you hear your name, you can get your certificate. Cody Anderson. Emily Austin. Hudson Cormack. Jacob Davies. Holly Dickinson. Tom Fenley. Lauren Pimenez. Marley Horn. Jackson Hill. Mary Hogan. Flynn Hyde. Van Lewis. Indigo Lock. Taj Morgan. Amelia Porter. Harry Richardson. Millie Ridgewell. Lucy Robinson. Jagger Stone. Nate Taylor. Let's give KH another great big start for graduating Jimmy Lauder. Congratulations, KH. Well done, KH. You can go and sit back down. It really is such an exciting moment to finish your first year of primary school. So many new things happen. You really become grown up little people. It's an amazing milestone. Good job, kindergarten. Um, Ms. Arma, can I please invite you to join us on stage to present the Public Education Award? Okay, boys and girls, eyes this way, lips are closed. Thank you. Right, on behalf of the New South Wales Teachers Federation, I would like to present the early stage one Public Education Award to Audrey Hemmings. And the Stage 1 Public Education Award I proudly present to Max Kievers. Please give our recipients a round of applause. Maria, we are ready for you. So I would like to invite Maria Fenwick, who is our PMC Canteen Convener up on stage. And Maria is going to hand out the awards for the Tuck Shop Good Manners Award. So Maria looks all year long. Every time you come to the canteen, Maria's eyes are on you. 
and she's looking and she's listening for those people who have the most beautiful manners. Our early stage one award for Touch Shop Good Manners goes to Indigo Lock. Congratulations, Indy. Our stage one Tuck Shop Good Manners Award goes to Aurora King. Congratulations, Aurora. This is such a special award to receive because it shows that you are always using your best manners. Let's give these lovely ladies a great big clap. Congratulations, girls. All right, girls, would you like to move down the back to have some photos? Thank you, Maria. Thanks, girls. Okay, the next two awards I think are probably the most special awards that we get to hand out at the stage one, early stage one assembly. These are the awards that go to people who display excellent citizen, citizenship skills. These are the people who are kind and caring friends. These are the people who always do what's best to support and to help others. These are the people that might see the rubbish on the ground and decide it's the right thing to pick it up, even though you didn't put it there. These are people who show good values and these are the type of people that we want in our school. So we've got two of these awards, one for early stage one, kindergarten, and one for stage one, which is for year one and for year two. Our Kindergarten Early Stage 1 Citizenship Award goes to Van Lewis. So Van gets a medallion to wear around his neck and a great big shield. And his name will be written on that shield and it gets to hang up in our office for everyone to see. Congratulations, man. Stage one. Our stage one citizenship award goes to Stella Rose Stedman. Congratulations, Stella Rose. We're very proud of you. Let's give these amazing students an amazing class. Congratulations, Stage One. Really special awards for some very well-deserved recipients. Congratulations. You can move outside for some photos. All right, Mr. Stevens. Mr. Stevens has the job of introducing you to the brand new school captains who will be your leaders next year in 2022. So I think the U2 students got to watch the votes last week and got to see all the captain speeches. And for those of you in kindergarten in U1, this is your first opportunity to see who your leaders will be. The people who set a good example for you in the playground. The people that you can go to if you need support and you need help. So it's very exciting to announce the leadership team, Mr. Stevens. Thank you, Miss Wright. Boys and girls, I get the awesome job of announcing who the school captains for 2022 will be. Do you want to find out? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Our first school captain, give them a round of applause, is Jet Landon to Shailen. Our next school captain is Claire O'Donnell. Our vice captains are Cooper Fitzsimmons. Our 
Our second vice captain is Sophie Madwick. Our prefect for 2022, first one goes to Aston Bilson. Our second one goes to Edie Lewecki Cushing. Our next prefix is Thomas Chenfi. And our last prefix is Maya Marshall. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now boys and girls, they're going to work really hard for you next year and they're your voice. So if you need anything in the playground, at lunch or recess, this is your team. This is the team that you go to and you can go up and they can help you out at any stage through 2022. What well are school captains, vice captains and prefects? Give them another round of applause. <laughs> you can head down the centre of the passage road. Thank you. Okay, what a really exciting morning that has been for everybody. Before we finish up, I want to say again, what an amazing job you've done sitting there and listening. It's a really long time to sit still and to not chat with your friends, and you've done an incredible job. It's almost that time of year where we get to clean out our pigeonholes and take all our artwork off the walls and start to think about Christmas time. But we still have a couple more weeks of some really fun learning activities for you to do. So make sure that you enjoy these last few weeks with your teachers and I hope that everybody has a fantastic Christmas and a wonderful safe holidays with their families. Thank you very much, everybody.